Hello, hello. All right, welcome in. So we are now doing our full moon candle ceremony. So if you purchased a candle, then hopefully you had a chance to write down with your payment what you were releasing. Um, and as you know, if you didn't do that, then I'm still going to tune into that anyway. So uh, let's begin. So we're going to start with lighting all of our candles. Hello. If you want to get a candle, there's still time. Okay, if you go to my bio, you'll see purchase candle for the candle ceremony. So, as long as we're still on, you can buy a candle. Ooh, that one's acting up. If you can't catch the whole live, or you didn't catch a live, and you purchased a candle, YouTube is going to help you out with that, okay? And then we're also coming back on here at 7.15 for our subscriber Feed Healing Thursday, which is very exciting. Alright, so all of our candles are lit. Okay, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We have 10 candles. Alright, so first we're going to start off with grounding. So let me know, how are you feeling? How are you doing? So, with your permission, is it okay if I ground you? I can only have to do is say yes to the downloads. Good, and I'm hearing that we need more encouragement, so I'm going to offer some healing to our candles. And each candle represents each individual. So I'm feeling a lot of heat over here. So I think it was this candle was struggling a little bit with lighting. And again, a lot of healing coming from this end. So as we continue, I'll let you know which candle you are. This is my first time doing the full moon candle ceremony. And if you want to join our new moon ceremony, you can also purchase a candle for that on February 8th. All right, so we're starting off with just clearing any energy that's unwanted. Just gently removing that. Again, it really feels like it's these last four candles. But when we do a group ceremony like this, we want everybody's energy to be ready, fully willing, and open to receive all the healing, okay? Just starting with a little bit of opening. So if you're here, feel free to breathe. Also, if you're here, feel free to like and tap the screen if you're watching. Whew. There. I'm just going to give us a couple more minutes here just to raise the vibration of our group. So it's like each candle represents one soul, right? And I love group ceremonies. Thank you very much. I like it because it's really much stronger when we're together than it is individually. So if you guys want a candle, just let me know. I'll grab you one. They're $8. We're almost there. So if you're watching, please tap the screen. Well, honestly, what we're doing right now is grounding. We're grounding everyone. Okay, lady, feel free to buy a candle. And hop in. Okay, so our first candle here is Julie. Okay, very top. What's interesting is we have a little bit of rose quartz between her and our third person. And so rose quartz is very much about bringing in more love and just letting go of any type of I'm getting sticky residue. 
Okay, and so to me, sticky residue is just excess energy or waste that we don't need anymore. So uh, her other person is Marcus next to her, okay? And so Marcus is focusing on doubts, okay? And, um, and a lot of work, a lot of work energy. So doubts, stuff around work. Maybe a cloudy mind, that sort of thing. So we're going to start here with Julie and Marcus together. And no surprise, Rose Quartz is hanging out right there. So with this full moon, would you like to know that it's safe for you to release these limiting beliefs that you're hanging on to? In relation to your work, in relation to yourself, and anything that's holding you back from attaining that ideal work-life balance. I'm going to just say yes. And then we're shifting over to Tito here, this one, Rose Quartz beside her as well. And also, if you don't want me to share your name ever, you can just put an initial as well. Uh, she's letting go of anything that's holding her back, removing and clearing any blocks along her path. Ooh, she's so ready to let that go. So would you like to know who you are? without all of these fears and this weight that you're carrying? Would you like to know what it is and what it feels like to be truly divinely connected with your spiritual? And would you like to know who you are without feeling like you need to uh, be so detail-oriented? Let's let that go on a history level as well. Feeling like we need to take on all the details when really we don't. And again, just saying yes to that. Hello, Lily. Good. So I'm also getting there are quite a few people in this ceremony because we're all sharing energy that need more clarity, right? Not just clearings, but clarity. So we'll give you guys some more support and information. So we're going to do one round of clearing and then we'll go in and we'll We'll offer you guys some healing messages. Welcome in. Okay, so now we're going on to James. Okay. James is letting go of frustration and fear of failure. Who doesn't have that, guys? Who isn't worried about doing the wrong things, right? All very relative to the self-doubt that everybody seems to be sharing here tonight. So would you like to know who you are without feeling frustrated all the time? And would you like to know that it's safe for you to see sometimes obstacles as opportunities? And would you like to know what it is to uh, let go of your failures and celebrate the fact that you get to have these beautiful experiences? Okay, and I'm hearing this person is still hanging on to um, to the obstacles. Okay, so that feels like what it's connected to. They're hanging on to the things instead of moving through the things. And again, I think we can all relate to this. So again, still offering healing and offering that clearing. Some energy here. And so all the rose quartz is up here beside these four people. Good. I'm just hearing leaving the past behind. Leaving the past behind. So maybe even just if you're watching this, offering a little bit of a mantra here for yourself or an affirmation. I am leaving the past behind. I am contributing to my goals. Anything to just kind of uplift here. I'm also going to light some sage, smudge all you guys. 
if you're watching here, feel free to keep tapping that screen. It's very helpful for me as well. If you want to get a candle and join, they're eight dollars in my bio. I am also picking up on some judgment here. So if you're receiving this healing, just inviting more love in. So these two people, one is now on board, the other needing some extra, extra safety and support. <sighs> Good. So just being more aware of your thoughts as you watch this ceremony. Noticing where your mind is going and how you're directing your thoughts. So opening up to more mindfulness is what I'm getting. And I'm hearing creative solutions as well. The goal here is that we can move forward without all the fears. So would you like to know that it's safe for you to move forward without all of the fears? All the weight that you're carrying. Letting go of all those obstacles on your path that are related to your past. Again, just agreeing to the downloads. You have to say yes. Good, I'm just hearing everybody's opening up their mind. Everybody's on board, wonderful. All right, so we're going to Luli. If you're there live, feel free to let me know what you're releasing. So you are right here. You're the one that wasn't getting lit at the beginning. Took you a little while to open your energy there. But now she's all on board. All right, so I'm hearing cut and dry, cut and dry. So would you like to let go of times in your life where you felt like everybody everybody was cut and dry or people were a little too emotionless or cold or uh, narcissistic? Everybody can use that one. Would you like to know who you are in this new life without feeling like you attract narcissists or people who um, want to be your friend and then... Um, don't follow through with those actions. Good. Yeah, because I think you're opening up to more fun. And so we can't have those people in our life when we're having fun because they kind of take away our soul or they dim our light a little bit. So relationship patterns are coming through here for you. Okay, and then we're moving on to Alicia. So Alicia, you're next to Luli here. Okay, you were the one we were smudging a little extra here. Okay, letting go of negative emotions, limiting thought patterns, old non-functional patterns, growth limitations. Okay, so offering that additional support. Would you like to know that it's safe for you to let go of that? And anyone who is not emotionally intelligent that's come along your path or times in your life where you felt like you weren't emotionally intelligent as well and would you like to know who you are in this life now moving forward thriving versus surviving and would you like to know how to manifest and recreate your life on a regular basis so you can open up to the new possibilities especially when the new moon comes in as well Thank you, Shana Ann. So we're going to be doing Theta Healing Downloads at 7.15, and you can uh, also pay $8 to get a candle to participate in this ceremony as well. And you can soak up all the energy. Got it. So Alicia, I'm just getting you're moving forward. Like you're graduating from the old and moving into the new. And so I like to use the word graduation, because if you can see it as something you've completed, right? Something you mastered, and now it's time to move on. As we were sharing in the last video, when we were doing our full moon readings, we saw that with Crystal's energy of, uh, just because we're starting new, 
doesn't mean that something bad happened, you know? Sometimes we think we need to wait till something bad happens to make a change, whereas change is constant, right? And so it's actually just more going with the flow and trusting yourself a bit more, right? Trusting that it's okay for you to focus on you and take the time for you. So we're, you, Alicia, you and Crystal have a lot of similar energy, which makes sense when we're in group settings, how we can see how we're all kind of a unity here with the rose quartz and we're almost building little beautiful bonds with each other, which is super cool. So you might find that you're even connect more connected to the people uh, that are that are in here. All right, then we move on to Dave. So we have Alicia. Dave is over here. Okay. So also implementing the same same release for him. I'm just hearing letting go, letting go. So again, in implementing a little um, affirmation, a mantra here, like I am letting go, I am releasing. So Shana and at 7.15, we're going to be doing more Theta Healing Downloads, okay? So that's something you can join. But in order to get a candle for this ceremony, you just need to pay $8, and that's in my bio as well. And then we can add you in. And you can share what you're releasing as well once you get your candle. letting go so I'm also feeling like for Dave I am no longer punishing myself I am no longer punishing myself so another great affirmation so would you like to know that it's safe for you to continue to find healthy patterns in your life and latch on to healthy things or at least healthier things than you were before and would you like to know what it is and what it feels like to embody the new healthy you in 2024, celebrating the person that you are in the now and being present and joyful at the same time. So just saying yes to that. Good, and so I'm hearing, I'm ready to make the change. I'm ready to make the change. I'm seeing somebody stepping into that light, moving forward. We've gotta be ready as I was sharing, right? When we're all sharing this energetic space, I'm only gonna move forward. If you're ready, if I feel your energy's ready. And so we don't push anybody, we don't pressure anybody, we just wait till your energy's ready. So wonderful, I like that. So Crystal B, you are right here, okay? Releasing self-doubt, okay? So I'm hearing honoring my commitments and my practices. Celebrating the new me. Ooh, the energy is so much higher now. This is actually, a, I think, my favorite full moon I've ever had. Awesome, Shana. So as soon as we're finished with Crystal B, we're going to grab you your candle, okay? So would you like to create healthy relationships in your life so you can start vibrating love spirituality kindness and would you like to know who you are without this worry or this insecurity or this second guessing or the fears of the unknown that you might be carrying around with you any of this baggage that's blocking you from truly feeling that sense of knowing or security that you're yearning for right now let's let that go on a historical level meaning just society kind of teaching us to uh, not feel as empowered or question everything, okay? Really deep breath there. There's a lot of stress around it. So maybe even just opening up your heart chakra, probably where the rose quartz is coming in for everybody. Yeah, it's like also even finances are coming up here, just like allowing yourself to just... You know, not even worry or think about that. And I know that's easier said than done, but definitely opening up more to that money mindset and your self-worth of giving back to yourself and putting forward more, okay? So I'm going to grab Shana Ann's candle and I'll be right back, okay?
There's so much heat coming through here. A lot of energy going on. So Shana Ann, feel free to share what your release is in the comments. This is you, by the way. Okay. We're really opening up the heart chakra here. I'm clearing a lot of energy for our group. So Crystal, you might notice a big difference in your shoulders maybe in your neck, in your chest, you're going to start to feel a lot lighter, okay, as things come in for you, right? Reminding yourself of the things that you said you want to let go of. Okay, I'm going to light some Palo Santo here, bring in some more positive energy. This is such a beautiful full moon because it's all about the new start, right? The new year. First full moon of the year. It's very creative. It's very passionate. It's very romantic. A lot more motivation. It's like a higher energy. Oh, right. This person has a lot of energy going on here, too. Okay, we're ready to rock. So autumn is next, okay? So autumn's right here in the center. I'm hearing letting go of temptation. Letting go of temptation. So would you like to know that it's safe for you to let go of any temptation that's unhealthy for you? Would you like to know who you are now moving forward with um, structure that you feel called towards? So when you want to embody structure in your life, you can implement it uh, very easily and that it's safe for you to open up your heart space again to new people or new situations that you feel intuitively guided to. And again, that or something better. Good, and I'm hearing calming the energy down. So again, just offering any type of calm. Hello, Julie. Any type of calm. So if you'd like to purchase a candle, they're $8, and then you can just share what you're releasing here. No. So I keep hearing calm, calm, calm. So that's what we're inviting in for our group. So Autumn, when you're watching this, just embodying that calm moving forward and during. A big part of full moon ceremonies are reminding ourselves about uh, deeper connection work, right? Going within. And so finding that moment right now within yourself just to kind of heal anything that you're experiencing or going on. Yes, we started with you. But Julie, what would you like to release? We can, we'll add that in with your candle because you didn't share. So Tina, if you want to get a candle, we can add you in too. It's in the bio. So would you like to release, again, any, any temptation that um, has created a lot of anxiety or worry for you as well? And let's let that go on a genetic and history level. Good. And now I'm hearing the affirmation, I am safe. I am safe. I am safe. So the reason why affirmations are so great right now is just because because we're in such a beautiful full moon uh, of moving forward, it's almost like a new moon, you know? And so coming into that space of forgiveness, of opportunities, that sort of thing. So if you are feeling like you're in this space, there's someone that you need to forgive, maybe offering that energy out as well. Just honoring the moon right now, wherever that is. So this is my first time doing the full moon candle ceremony. So it's going to be a little different, right? And every time this is going to be a bit different. Okay. So I'm so worried about finishing school on time. Fear of failure. Okay, so we already worked on fear of failure. But uh, we'll add that in here, okay? So Julie, we'll go back up to you since you weren't here. 
So do you want to let go of any worry that you have around completing your education or any worry that you have around pursuing the dreams that you're desiring as a result of this fear of failure? Would you like to know who you are without all of the doubts and creative blocks that might be uh, causing you to feel like you're not good enough or you're not going to get there or any of that ego energy or negative self-talk? Let's also invite some healing for you that way and anybody else that wants it, just saying yes. Hello, Amy Roy. Again, throat chakra. We've already been working on heart chakra here. The replay's under YouTube, so you can rewatch that. You'll get all the healing still. Uh, but a lot of throat chakra. So maybe right now, just opening up your throat. So just loosening up your jaw. You can also, in your space, put some calming, relaxing music in. Definitely feeling that for Autumn's energy as well. Remember how I was saying at the beginning, there's a lot of healing coming through in these bottom people. So calm. And... Going back to Shana Ann. Shana Ann, are you here? I'll check with your payment if you said what you're releasing, okay? If not, I'm going to tune into it. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, so feel free to share exactly what you would like to let go of with this full moon energy. If you... Uh, I can also read your payment if you left something there. And I can also tune in if you'd like that too. So Satch is releasing doubt, second guessing everything again and again. And also really just opening up to um, acceptance. Or she's also open to whatever I feel she needs to accept. Okay. So Satchu is right over here. Okay? We're also feeling a lot of energy from this candle. Okay. So you're also beside the yellow citron. Okay. And yellow citron is all about joy confidence, being able to breathe, feeling relaxed, uh, you know, being able to just do the things that make you happy, honestly, and just feeling it good about who you are. So would you like to know that it's safe for you to let go of the second guessing, all of the things that you said you'd like to attract, as in release? But you want to let go of the weight that you're carrying as a result of this. Any blocks that you have in terms of attracting abundance? More money, more success, more shopping, more joy. Is there anything that's holding you back from bringing all that in? I'm gonna let that go on a history level as well. And also, anybody that was unkind to you along your path, would you like to know that it's safe for you to forgive those people that have hurt you? Would you like to know that it's safe for you to continue to have motivation while exploring new ideas and new opportunities? Good. I'm just hearing you're on board with healing. You're on board with healing, which is great. Sometimes we just need to, again, agree that we want to move forward. That's what full moons are about. It's just letting go, right? It's not that hard to agree to, but it's just the work that comes in afterwards. And so between now and the new moon, this is a time of clearing out the old, okay? So really, we're saying we want to let go of it. But over the next couple weeks is when we're really going to start to notice it. So feel free to use my spiritual support team uh, underneath Facebook to share things that you're experiencing. I can do my best to comment on your on your things that you share that you want support with there. Um, I also can add resources if you need more help. I'm doing my best to um, do more videos to be supportive. And uh, I also am doing a full moon reading uh, sent over to your email as well this time. So if you're finding there are some more things coming up, you want to uh, get more support with, I can help you at 7.15. As you guys know, subscribers only, we're going to do some um, theta healing. All right, so we're going to move on to Shana Ann. Okay, you're over here. I'm going to check to see if you said something. And then I'm just grounding everybody. Is that a golden healer crystal in front? That is yellow citron. 
And now, beside Shana Ann, we've got the tiger's eye. And um, Autumn's definitely kind of feeling into these, this more solar plexus and grounding energy. Okay, I don't think you said anything about a release. You know, I don't see anything. Okay, so we're gonna tune into you. We're gonna pull up a card for you, okay? Oh my god, so when we did our full moon ritual and theta healing downloads for our members in our membership group, this was the one card that we already pulled up. So, so, so fitting. I'm glad that it's showing up again. It says, happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. So two people were talking about fear of failure tonight. So no coincidence. And then three people talking about self-doubt. So what are the chances out of our 11 people here? That's what was coming through for the same people, right? And then have confidence in yourself. Well, we saw confidence coming up for a couple people here as well, right? So, um... Shana Ann, when we tune into you, hello, welcome in. There's still time for you to purchase a candle in my bio if you'd like to join our ceremony here for the full moon. Um, I'm almost feeling like I'm, I'm feeling comforted by energies around me, okay, for you. So I'm getting for you to trust yourself, even if you're going in directions that maybe aren't as... Uh, popular or um, things that are just different than others okay sometimes we want to fit in so would you like to let go of times in your life where you felt like you needed to become a part of a group or become a part of a solution when deep down in your heart it wasn't what you really felt you were meant to do so any type of people pleasing any uh, times in your life where you did things again just that you didn't really want to be doing, but you kind of fell into the influence or fell into the peer pressure or that tra trap that other people can put pressure on you and then you get kind of stuck in, oh crap, I guess this is what I'm doing or oh crap, that happened, okay? So would you like to pull and release that even stubborn energy that you have or other people have? Uh, and again, the people pleaser side of you, that feels genetic, past life and historical, okay? pretty deep. No wonder why I came in here. And would you like to know who you are now moving forward with, with more grace, with more joy, with, with more ease, trusting that it's safe for you to connect to the right people for you, that it's safe for you to connect to loved ones, uh, that are also meant for you. So just say yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that just feels really old. Sometimes as we're aging and we're going through growing pains, right, we can look back a little bit and be like, wow, yeah, when I was young, I did blah, 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 blah. But the key thing here is we're just letting it go. So we're not letting that kind of weigh us down or, or hang over our head, right? There are things that happened to us in our past and they keep coming up, these old memories do, just so we can release them. And they're not coming up to to cause you problems, they're just coming up for you to acknowledge, okay, this is just something old that I need to let go of, okay? So I just want to share that with you if you notice, like, even this keeps happening over the next few months, too, that, you know, old, old things from the past are reoccurring or, like, showing up, even in a dream or something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do another full moon ceremony. I'll add that under my, under my store, just like I did tonight, um, so we can do this again. My VIP um, membership also offers the rituals, the readings, and the Theta Healing downloads based on our group for the full moon. It's very helpful. And then the weekly energy is also getting tied into there now. Um, so that could be helpful for you, okay? So anything else we need to know here? I hope I didn't miss anybody. Is there anything else that anybody else is feeling? off about that they want to share here i'm just hearing trust trust your judgment trust yourself trust your soul right i feel like there are a lot of connections coming in for a lot of people as new full moon energy okay so it feels really beautiful to me um i think even with health too health is coming in okay so um 
you missed yours or okay all right no problem all right guys so i think we have everybody in here let's integrate with permission by saying yes we're gonna do one last smudge to make sure the energy energy is all good Luli, what did you say you were releasing? Do you want to just add what you're releasing, Luli? You know, it's important to talk about. Continue to breathe here. Got to just keep getting safety. Safety. So, Lily, just keep working on that, okay? Safety and trust. All right, everyone. Please make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube as well. If you are watching on the replay, it's really helpful for me as well. Thank you so much. And I'll be back on at 7.15 to do some Theta Healing downloads for our subscribers. So make sure that if you do have some additional things that you'd like to work on, come in and bring it into the group. We won't be uh, doing things in order. You can just throw in the comments whatever you want as long as you're a subscriber. And uh, we're going to compile it all in a group setting and do some healings and clearings that way. Okay, thanks so much and full moon blessings. Take care. Love you all.